Our big story tonight, the threat of getting wet. All right, it put a little bit of a damper on the first Dayton Bazaar, but it did not keep people from stopping down at the Oregon District. Christian Hauser joins us to show this was not just any old street fest. Christian? Yeah, Jack, uh, business owners were definitely not singing in the rain earlier tonight uh, because of the rain, but it stopped, and you can see a lot of people out here walking down the Oregon District just coming in to check out the local flavors and tastes that the Oregon District has to offer. The event started at 5, but didn't really pick up until around 8. Well, we're glad to see it. We're glad to see the response. Even though the weather's bad tonight, there's been a steady crowd coming through, and there's been a lot of interest in the art and in the event. There wasn't just art for people to check out. There were also tastings for locally made products like this sriracha honey, and you could even get your fortune read. Everyone we talked with thinks Dayton Bazaar will be a great draw for the Oregon District. Oh, I'm really excited. I think Dayton has a lot to offer, and I'm glad to see lots of stuff going on down. Dayton Bazaar came about after the Urban Nights events were canceled. It's part of a plan to have several or even monthly events instead of the two large events a year to get people downtown. So we think having that monthly event that everybody can count on and they know it's going to happen and when it's going to happen and where to go is really important. So we wanted to do that and really kind of give it a big boost of energy. Amelia says the Oregon District is unlike any other shopping experience you'll find in Dayton. It's more fun. Um, you never really know what to expect when you come down here, which is great. And the idea of this event is to really boost that. Besides the artists, there were also several charity and nonprofit groups on hand to talk about their missions. I think it's good for everybody involved. It's good for the artists, it's good for sex, it's good for the gallery, it's good for Dayton because it brings people down and they go to the restaurants. They see the art and they get involved. Yeah, guys, and if you couldn't make it out tonight, you can check it out tomorrow. It runs from noon until 5 and smell some great food as you're walking around here. And then you can also expect events like this on First Fridays throughout the rest of the year. Again, it's part of that since the Urban Nights is gone, trying to make up for, uh, for those missed events, but more smaller events throughout the year. Reporting live in the Oregon District, Christian Hauser, Fox 45 News.